Tim Duncan and the Spurs, owners of the top seed in the Western Conference, played host to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Sporting the gray and black, Tim Duncan off the feed from Tiago Splitter later in the first quarter. Kawhi Leonard with the putback. Spurs pulling away with a nine point lead. Then Duncan, the scoop and the score. A nine point lead at that point as well for the San Antonio Spurs. Wayne Ellington for hey, for the visitors from the state of Ohio as the Cavs made a run and cut the Spurs lead to just one. Deion Walters, 15 points in the game for the visitors from Cleveland. Later in the second, Boris Diaw whistled for the offensive foul and it set off Popovich and he got tossed, get him out. Second quarter, Manu Ginobili, oh my goodness. Did you see Manu Ginobili going up and throwing it down. Halftime score, Spurs led by five. Alonzo G with the steal and it goes coast to coast. Scores the bucket, draws the foul. Tied at 88 after the play. Fourth period, Booby Gibson to Maurice Spates for the layup. Space, 19 points off the bench for the Cavaliers. Game was still tied. Later in the fourth, Cleveland with a one point lead, but Cowie Leonard for the three. He scored 10 of his 24 in the fourth period. Then Manu Ginobili inside to Tim Duncan, the ageless wonder with 30 points on 13 of 19 from the field. And another example of the ageless wonder, getting it done defensively as well. Tim Duncan, full of denial as the Spurs to go. hold off the Cavalier. Four, Manu for three. Got it! 1.3 to go. Spurs have been seven of 12 and a steal. Danny Green's got Kawhi Leonard. And the bacon and the dunk from Green. Uh, those two guys making it look so easy in the open court. You talk about the Spurs. Surveying the action, back to Ginobili, 3.42 to go. Mano nearly lost it, finger roll. Oh, he just sent him out. That away, Mano. <laughs> he had him right where he wanted him. <laughs> Take the bait. Oh, that's how you stay in a play right there. Mano Ginobili just never giving up. The defense overplays him when he hits the floor. Joseph, the challenge on Waiters. Step back jumper won't go. Kawhi snares the rebound here. Corey Joseph, Ginobili. Uh, once he stepped through those two... And the creativity. Duncan says no! Oh, it's outstanding defense there by Danny Green. Just not giving up an easy bucket. And as soon as Dion Waiters shows this ball to Tim Duncan. I wonder what, uh, what was the problem defensively? You know, they scored 90 in the first, uh, in the first three. They, I don't idea? know. Uh, we did way too many things wrong. We fouled them too much, so we sent them to the line. We let them run. Offensive rebounds, first half, it was everything. Uh, good that we scored, but you know it was a terrible performance. So we we gotta step up and and play better because you know the playoffs are around the corner, 15 games to go, and we are doing worse than at the beginning of the season. So we we. Got to go by this slump and uh, get our things together. How much of it do you think is not happening to me? It, it shouldn't be a problem in the defensive end. Uh, if we're not scoring, we can't create, then I would say, okay, uh, you know, we miss Tony. But on the defensive end, that's uh, it's just a matter of doing it right. And Corey is a defensive minded point guard, so I, I don't think it's about. Tony, and it's not that we are turning the ball over like 25 times. We we did a little more than usual, but um, um, no, I, I don't think it's in that in that specific case is is to worry about the lack of Tony. Is it mistakes in rotation or uh, individual? Individual, I think it's blow bys. Uh, then if we do get beat, somebody should you know step up and get a charge or rotate, and we always step late. So it is both, of course, uh, too easy. 
opponents attacking the basket and teammates going there a little late. Um, then, you know, defensive rebounds. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's a compound of, of things that we we got to do better because, you know, 90 points in three quarters is it's way too many. On the positive side, the offense you seemed a lot better tonight. Did you feel that way? Yeah, yeah, offense was, was good. We scored 66 in the first half. TD was incredible. Y was sharp and, you know, doing what, what he does very well. We moved the ball, okay, so... I, I, that that was not the problem, and we we it's not something that we struggle with many times. There are some games that you can't score, or but offensively we we're gonna be okay if we just play better D and more solid and get stronger at the rebounding end, and the defensive rebounding end. Then we're gonna run, get some easy buckets, and our offense is gonna be okay.